This is the One Leaf Commander NV100 Night Scope and Camera. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on it, keep watching. Just before we get started, I want to mention a couple of things. First, I would like to thank One Leaf for sending out the Commander NV100 Night Vision Scope and Camera so that I could share it with you. Now, there's a few things I want to talk about before we get down to the table. First off, uh, if you're looking for a review of this as a rifle scope attachment, and that is its primary purpose, this is not the video for you. My video will be focusing in on this product as a night vision camera and this is what I had put to the company when they first offered it to me I don't hunt anymore I don't have any rifles with scopes on that I could test this out with so I wanted to see how this would work as a night vision spotting scope and camera for doing well recording at night obviously now I've had it in my hands a long time much longer than I should have and I want to get this video out so that I can share my thoughts with you so I have done considerable amount of testing but solely from the perspective of using this as a camera now I will show you the rest of the attachments but once again this is not going to be attached to a rifle and I'm not going hunting with it I just wanted to make that clear all right so what we're going to do is go down to the tabletop where I'll go through the key features for this item I'll go through its performance and physical specifications of course I'll go through its modes of operation but only in short and the reason being is I want to get on to talking about my experiences using it as a camera and of course we're going to do some nighttime as well as daytime recording with it all right just before we focus in on the unit itself I thought I'd share with you what it came with so this is the box that the unit came in good size box because there's quite a few things inside one of the most important of course is the manual and warranty information by the way it does have a two-year warranty warranty the manual is quite detailed there's a lot of information in here it took me quite a bit of time to go through it and I keep this handy for when I'm trying to refresh my memory on some of the features so good thing to have it does come with a nice little velour stuff sack something I will be using when I take it out in the field just to give it a little bit protection it does come with a micro USB charging cable not USB type C and not USB fast charge a micro USB now I know that sounds a little old school but it's certainly still up to the task of charging this unit and by the way you don't have to rely on the included 18650 lithium ion battery to power the unit you can use this cable and an external power bank to power the unit directly so you'll get longer run times that way let's put those out of the way now here are the things that I'm not going to be evaluating or demonstrating these are the attachments for a rifle scope so depending on the size of your rifle scope these are the units you would put it on with they go on very easily there's just a click kind of a bayonet type of a lock on to the unit itself but again not part of this evaluation all right let's bring the camera back in we're going to go through its key features and I'll show you some of the physical features on this as we go so to begin the thing that drew my attention the reason why I thought it might be something worth checking out is the nighttime viewing range you can this will reach out to 328 yards or 300 meters at night it it has six levels of powered IR illumination, infrared illumination, and that can be done two ways. First off, this is the illuminator right at the top. You can actually pull it out and, and give it more power outwards. But there's also an IR button on the back right here. It's one of those things you have to kind of memorize where it is. But that will, by pressing that repeatedly, you can use six levels of power illumination for the infrared. So that's another one of the features. Now, I don't know too much too much about this next feature what it means but I'll put it out there this uses a Sony Starvis S-T-A-R-V-I-S CMOS sensor rated at 1920 by 1080 uh, video resolution so it has a 1080p uh, video resolution it also has audio recording I'll comment on that more in a minute and by the way where is it right here that little tiny dot right there is the microphone. Again, we'll comment that on a moment. Now, it, it comes equipped with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, which right there, tiny little thing that it is. And of course the adapter, if you can, need to plug it into your computer, I'm trying to do this with my beefy fingers. 
push it back in and lock it in. But it will accept up to a 256 gigabyte micro SD card for longer run times. 32 is not bad, but 64 or more would be even better, of course. So if you want to buy extra cards for it, you know, that's probably something to consider. While I have this port cover open, you can see where the micro USB input power port is and the earphone jack right here if you want to be able to hear the recordings for uh, during playback from the, the video camera because of course you can do that as you view the recording through the, um, the, the viewing port as well on it. Okay put that close that up. So as I mentioned it does have daytime color mode and it is at 1080p and it has nighttime mode as well and those are the two features that we're going to be testing. It has a long eye relief up to 70 millimeters. It has high shock resistance up to 308 calibers. It has a diopter adjustment and focus adjustment here. I'll point those out again and it does come with a Samsung. Let's actually take it out and show it to you and they're pretty snug right now. This is where the battery goes in. So it is a Samsung 18650 lithium ion battery and it's been branded by One Leaf. Now it doesn't say on it what its rated capacity is but I was able to test it with my battery checker and I got 2393 milliamp hours so it was probably a 2600 or it is probably rated as a 2600 so that's about right. Most batteries don't come up to their full rating so still a very good high quality battery. Let me put that back in. As I mentioned a minute ago it has has a two-year warranty as well. All right, just a couple more features to point out before we get into the demonstrations. And it is one of the things that I found most valuable, at least for me, is this. This is a quarter-inch 20-thread adapter. So this camera can be mounted on a tripod like any other camera. Not something you'd make use of very often, especially if you're going to be using it with a rifle. But in my situation, using this as a camera, that was almost vital to have. So it was good that that was included. I did point out that the uh, the forward focus or the objective lens focus is right here and you can just freely rotate that. It works very well as you hold on to it. Very much like any monocular, half a binocular kind of an idea. And the diopter so you can focus it into your eyes uh, needs right here as well. Now the other thing I want to point out is the operating buttons and just briefly what they are. I'm not going to be able to demonstrate them because you're not going to be able to see. you. Uh, the menu itself and all the functions show up when you look through the eye relief here you can actually see all the functions as they operate so it's one of those things you'll have to experience more than I can demonstrate it for you but to start with there is an on off button right down here good placement for it only because uh, well here's the thing about all of these buttons as far as that goes they're a little hard to find intuitively at night because of course you don't have any light if you're using this at night unless you have a headlamp and that kind of defeats the purpose because you're supposed to be in the dark. So you have to memorize where the buttons are. The on-off button is not too bad. You can find that fairly easily once you get used to it. But I found for the first little while I was lifting my head and looking at the buttons to make sure I found the one that I actually wanted to use. And over here on this side is the infrared button. So this allows you to press through a series of power levels on the infrared to get just the right one for your situation. You have a focus button and an expanded screen button up here. You ha I keep looking because I haven't looking at it upside down. So you have the playback button right here as well as the menu and in the center you have a uh, an OK button for allows you to run through each of the menu items and it's also a button that allows you to take still pictures so not only is it a vid video camera but it is also a still camera as well. Now once again I'll just point this out these were a little bit awkward in the beginning. I got used to them but it's just one of the things I wish I didn't have to spend as much time as I did getting to used to the placement of the buttons. No sense of me trying to demonstrate them to you because quite honestly that's what you need that manual for. You'll be using it again and again until you get really intuitively used to how this operates. 
All right, as far as demonstrations go, there's really only going to be two. First off, it'll be a daytime color video recording to show you what that looks like. And the second will be a nighttime recording using infrared. We're just going to keep it that simple because, of course, I won't be attaching it to a scope and taking it out into the field to see what I can spot as far as game is concerned. All right, let's get started with that. All right, we're doing a daytime demonstration of the NV100. I have the camera focused on a bench about 60 feet away from me. I'm standing behind the camera recording my voice now because as I walk away from the camera you won't hear me. All right, and follow up to the daytime shooting with the NV100. We're going to do a little nighttime shooting backyard, same location. Now I'm going to have to walk away from the camera, so my voice isn't going to be recorded. But we'll see how well the camera works with the infrared. All right, let's wrap this video up with a few closing thoughts for the One Leaf Commander NV100 night vision scope and camera. So what are my overall thoughts? Well, I have to go back to the opening of this video and just declare once again that my viewpoint, the, what I was looking for in this camera was how it worked as a camera, not as a scope, not as an attachment for a rifle scope. I just want to be clear so no one is misled to think that I am evaluating it from that perspective. Now, as a camera. I tested it for daytime recordings and nighttime recordings. Now as far as the daytime recordings it is at least equal to any other camera of a similar resolution that I used. I quite like it. But it's not the daytime recordings that I was most interested in. It was the nighttime recordings. So the nighttime recordings using the infrared do a very good job as far as I can tell. Now the thing is this is the only nighttime camera I have ever used or tried so I really have no way of comparing it against any others. Uh, it certainly appears to be very clear. It certainly appears to uh, do the job that I would want from it. Certainly I, I enjoy using it for that purpose. I just can't say it's better than anything else for that. So once again as a nighttime video camera it works as far as I'm concerned but you know that's something you'll have to evaluate for yourself based on the demonstrations I gave you. Now as far as disappointments or anything that I think I would like to see changed about it, one is the fact that the input microphone faces me as a recorder when I have it up to my eye. Now that's the way it's intended to be. It's not meant to be used with something that will catch voice or sounds out at a distance, which is a bit unfortunate. It would be great if they could put a microphone input on this unit so that I could attach one of my wireless microphones and then I think I would be much more versatile as a camera. It still fits this, the vision or the, the intended mission for it as a rifle scope, but if I want to use it as a nighttime video camera, I really need to have something where I can record audio on the device without having to record it on a separate device and then device and then trying to match them up. So that would be a great improvement. Now the other thing is, and again not a deal breaker just to be aware, aware of, are the operating buttons on the camera. Now they're right in front of you as far as when you're holding it up here. So if you take the time to develop some muscle memory for where the on off button is, where the infrared button is, where the zoom is, and each of those features, then they'll work for you but they're not intuitive. It wasn't easy. I kept having to look at it and start playing with it and trying to memorize where those are. It would be much nicer if I could pick it up and without any thought just press the buttons with ease. And you know this is using it without gloves on and so I just point that out as well. So if it's a wintertime uh, scenario it's going to be even harder to operate those buttons. How they go about improving that? That's up to their engineers. I'm thinking one way they could make it a little easier is just illuminating the buttons from behind. But again, that's 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 not something that I can comment on uh, with any accuracy, we'll say. Okay, 
That's everything I have for you. And I, again, I'll open it up to you. If you want to comment on this unit or this video, as far as this being used as a camera, then please do so. Don't say that you didn't show it as a rifle scope uh, cameras, because again, I didn't evaluate it that way. All right. I'll put the links to where you can take another look at this in the video description. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.